This video will show you how to install the simple can update file that we will send you if you need to do an update. Maybe the uh, radio is not functioning properly. So the first thing we'll do is we'll send you an email and when you open the email you'll have a Dropbox link. This specific file is the simple can update file and this is the link we sent in the email and most of them will look like so. You should have either a download button right there or a download right here. In this case we will press the download here and it will give you an option to direct download. If I scroll down a little more on the screen it says save to my Dropbox where we're going to choose is direct download. After we press direct download it should automatically pop up here and you can see here it says simple can update.bin. I'm going to press direct download one more time and another one will pop up here that says space parentheses to parentheses. Um, they both finished downloading. We're going to open this one. Don't press this, but press on the arrow. Press show in folder. And you can see it is right here. And the newest one we download is right here as well. Now that you've downloaded into your downloads folder right here, we have our USB flash drive here. With the USB flash drive, we should be able to plug it into our laptop or computer. It pops up here, autoplay, but if it doesn't pop up at the bottom saying autoplay, we can go to here, the start menu. It actually just opened itself up, but you can press start menu and then you can press this one, documents. So again, when we hover over documents, this will pop up. After we've opened documents, we can go to this PC and our flash drive is right here, Samsung USB, which is right here. So let's close this window and open Samsung USB again. We're on this PC, Samsung USB. That's what is in our flash drive. But we're going to go back to our downloads window and let's find that simple can file right here and we will drag it into our USB. After it's in our USB, we can right click. So on the side here, we can drop down to USB Samsung, right click it and press eject. It's going to save to remove hardware. We will disconnect it here on our laptop. Once we've disconnected, we can go to the vehicle and plug this USB to our radio's USB drive. We can run the update by going to settings. At the bottom, go to the fourth icon, the screwdriver and the wrench, 3368. We're going to go to Original Car Agreement, CAN Box Upgrade, Confirm, and from here we need to choose the specific file for the radio to look for the update. We're going to press the search icon, and right now we're on USB 2, which is our flash drive. If we go to internal, that's what's inside the internal of the radio. Go back to USB 2 and find the file, simple can update, press upgrade, and now that the radio has found that file or we have told the radio where that file is, we can now press start. Just to confirm, we'll press confirm again, and the update will begin. The media info. Once the update has completed, the radio should automatically reboot itself, but if it does not, and maybe some controls not working, you can either press the reset button with a paper clip or pin, or scroll down from the top twice and reboot the system.